Hey squad, welcome back to my channel. I hope that this video finds you in wonderful, great spirits. So, um, this is going to be a makeup tutorial, of course, because I'm barefaced. Uh, but it's not going to be an everyday wear look. Uh, I am hopping on to the Bratz doll challenge. So, that's what we're going to do today. Um, I try to just do a variety of things. I try to do regular makeup looks. And I want to expand on my makeup artistry. So, it's going to be a mixture of things, and I hope you guys are okay with that on my channel. Um, so, this is just for entertainment, uh, and I hope that you like it, and that you don't unsubscribe from me just because of it, because I do have some units on the way. Um, I'm just all about beauty, so that's going to include my makeup, and it's also going to include the wigs. So, the look I'm going to do today is this one. Hopefully, it shows up on camera. Um... If it doesn't show up, I'll include a picture on the side so you guys can see. So I'm doing Sasha, and it is a Christmas look. I chose it because it was the only one I could find that had glitter on it because I really wanted to add glitter. And I might go outside of what she has, but this is my inspiration. It's going to be her. So let's get started. So I actually have a glue stick this time. I found it. Um, I guess my son left it outside of his arts and crafts uh book so I'm like good I don't have to go buy any so uh we're gonna start with our eyebrows so I'm just gonna take this spoolie here and kind of lift up my eyebrows hopefully I have now that I actually got the glue stick I'm hoping to have more success with laying down the brows hopefully there's enough in here I don't know what he's been gluing at school <laughs> So just apply a layer of the glue. Okay, we're gonna let that dry a bit and then we're gonna add another layer. Okay, now that we've given the glue some time to dry, also make sure you use a clean spoolie I forgot I used that to do my brows a long time ago. So the pencil is out, but um, I still use the spoolie. So I'm just going to use some translucent powder. I'm using the crayon case. Um, since I'm not using the crayon, the crayon case concealer, I think I'm okay with using just the powder and not have any issues with creasing or anything. And I'm going to use, this is the um, Color per Perfection Qual and Medium from Motives. I use like pretty much all of it. Like it's, it's gone. So I'm going to use the what's left in this color right here. I'm just going to scoop it out with my fingernail. And I'm going to use my finger and smooth it onto the brow area. And I'm going to use the clean end of the sponge to just blend that out. Okay, I'm going to set that again with the uh, setting powder. So I think I'm going to go in with one more layer. It's It's getting really covered really well, so... I guess the glue stick method is the best method instead of the got to be glued spray and gel. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to add one more layer uh, just to really get this area, this hair covered to give a really smooth canvas. So for my base, I'm going to go in with uh, Motives and the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Porcelain. I just really want to make sure that there isn't any creasing, so I'm not going to use a crayon case. I'm just going to use my my regular go-to's. Okay, so now for the tricky part, I'm gonna um, draw out the eye shape and then um, then do the eyeshadow and everything like that. So I got this technique off of Instagram. Um, one was flawless by 
I don't pronounce her her name. Um, I'll include it, <laughs> the two um, artists from Instagram that I got the inspiration to do the Brad doll this way. Okay, so I have the picture here. So here we go. Just bear with me. I'm going to use my uh, Benefit Brow Contour to uh, map out the eye shape. Okay, squats, I am back. I went ahead and did this eye really quick um, just to save time and just to kind of work with the look because I did practice sort of before I started doing this look. So um, I just wanted to, I don't know, do this just to see how it turns out. So now that this eye is done, we can do this eye. Okay, so I am going to use uh, the Moran... Um, Paradise pal uh, palette. Okay, so we're going to use that to do part of the eye. So I'm going to start. Let me get closer. <laughs> So I'm going to set the white area with this shade out of the Resolution Palette. Now she has green in her eyes, so I'm going to go in with the green out of the Moran Palette and use that to create the color of her eye. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the black. All right, she has like a yellowish kind of goldish <laughs> um, kind of highlight to our eyes. So I'm going to go in with the Crayon Case uh, Pablo Liquid Lipstick and I'm going to use that to add that kind of highlight, highlight, highlight accent to the eye. Okay, and I'm going to go into the mini masquerade palette and I'm going to use this color right here. I'm going to apply that on top of that uh, yellow color we just laid down. Okay, we're going to go back into the resolution palette and we're going to use the uh, green and the black in there. We're gonna use the green to set the green, the black to set the black. She has this kind of like bluish tint to her eye. I don't know if that's 
the way they took the picture or the editing. I don't know. So we're just going to add it. So I'm going in with the matte book and I'm going in with this uh, light blue shade right here. Okay, so now for the eyeshadow, we're going to go into the matte book again, and we're going to use the red shade right here, and we're going to mix this shade right here and this one right here, and we're also going to use um, this shade here. And I'm also going to use the a little bit of the red from the Resolution palette, so we're just going to mix a lot of colors to get the desired effect. Oh, and one thing, I did go up too far on my eyes, but we're going to take care of that with a black eyeliner, so don't worry about that right now. Okay, so now we're going to cut our crease and I'm going to use Porcelain from LA Girl Pro Conceal. Okay, now we're going to go back in that shade again that from the um, Nubian, I mean the Masquerade palette. And we're going to use that to set the area we just cut. And now we're going to go ahead and do the liner. I'm using the Epic Ink Liner from NYX. And this is going to be fun, so here we go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move on to the glitter. I'm going to take um the mixing medium from NYX and then this gold glitter here from Bad uh Baddy Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna put a little dollop. I don't know if you can see that on camera, there's a little dollop there. And then I'm just gonna shake a little bit of the uh, glitter into that area. Oops, our bunch. <laughs> And then, I don't know if you can see that, I don't want to drop it. And I'm just going to mix that together. And this way we create our own glitter liner. Okay, so using the uh, white liquid liner from NYX, we're going to go ahead and draw the snowflakes on. You know, this eye turned out better than this size. Like, I guess because I was off camera, like with it recording everything, I'm just, uh, I'm just kind of a little frustrated. It's not coming out the way I want it to, but oh well. It is what it is at this point. Okay, so she has three big snowflakes on her eye.
Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do my face, put my foundation on before we move on to any other, to the other parts of the look. Okay, so while my face is baking, I'm going to attempt to draw these brows. So, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. You know what happened last time when I was trying to draw brows? It, um, yeah, didn't quite work out. Um, but I was watching another YouTuber. She's fabulous, wonderful. Um, I love watching her videos, and she's a mom like myself. And I'll I'll put her username somewhere here on the screen. So she did a Bratz look, and she used her Maron palette to create the eyebrows. So remember, I was using eyeshadow. So I'm hoping that I could replicate what she did and be successful on um this oh well, that looks a hot mess <laughs> okay here we go Okay, so the eyebrows didn't didn't come out too bad. Not too shabby. So I'm glad I watched her tutorial because that really, really helped me out. Like they they came out a lot better than I expected. I was I was expecting a hot mess, but it worked out really well. Let me go ahead and I need to contour. So that's where I'm going to contour. Okay, so I'm going to use the, I'm actually going to use the matte book to contour. Because, you know, so, oh. Let me. Dust off some of this powder first. Okay, because you know, dolls have, you know, really skinny noses, so I need to make my nose skinnier. one has a it was a little bit too gold so I'm gonna go over with a more cool tone take some of the warmth out so now I'm gonna go in with touch of fancy blind lighter and limelight so uh, I've used this before it's like a green green highlighter I mean, she is going for that. I'm not going for it. She is um, a holiday look. So, and I believe she is wearing green highlight in the picture. So, this works out. Okay. She looks like she has doesn't look like she has like blush on her cheeks, but she has blush going across this area. So I'm gonna draw it out with a pencil first and then I'm gonna use um, with an eyeliner. Oh, man. 
in the streets, this song is buzzing. Some of y'all still talking money, but that shit don't really mean nothing. You never know, never know. So for to do the ornaments, I'm going to use the Maron palette. Okay, so we'll start with the red. Okay, and I'm going to use that white uh, eyeliner again from NYX to add the, the glowy light part. All right, so there are the ornaments. And I went over each one with eyeshadow just so it's not that stark white so it looks like it's glowing. And I think all we have to do are the eyelashes and the lips and we're done. So uh, I do need to add some detail to the eye. Oops. Okay, and now for the lips. So you know what the Bratz lips? We have the overline. I'm going to use Modem's, uh, it's called Sex Pot. Alright, so before I put all my clothes on, this is what I have so far. Okay, squad, here's my completed look. So, uh, I found these are the only hoop earrings I have. Actually, they're mini me's. I can't find the ones I have. Uh, mine are all silver, so I don't really have gold. I had a rose gold pair, but I can't find them. So, yeah. And this is my denim dress to match her kind of denim jacket she has on. So, let me know what you guys think. I went to pick up the kids like this. <laughs> they were so freaked out. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know it's not a wearable look, um, but I just want to thank you for allowing me to share my creative talent with you guys. I'm trying to improve and get better. The only way to do that is to practice. So I'm practicing <laughs> on here and sharing my journey with you guys because uh, I used to draw all the time. And so now instead of drawing, of course, you know, I'd use makeup as my creative outlet, you know, transformation from bare skin to, you know, full on glam. I really love watching that transformation. So uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. As I've said in the last few videos, it's free. And uh, hit the bell so you get notifications when a new video is headed your way. All right, I will see you guys next time. Bye.